And it looks like any other large new Silicon Valley house on the outside, but this house can be heated with just a hair dryer. Believe it or not, Ann Makovic shows us California's first zero energy house. It's really exciting. It may look like your average single family dwelling, but it's the first net zero energy home to be certified by the California Energy Commission, built in San Jose's Willow Glen by Alan Gilliland. There's all this technology that actually exists, and most of the public doesn't really know. You know what's a net zero energy home? What's a passive house? It's a super insulated building that collects more energy from solar panels than it uses. But you may just want to call it the hair dryer home. The heat from the hair dryer will be circulated throughout the entire home. And Gilliland recently posted this video on YouTube, shutting off the heater and leaving a hair dryer on all night. When he returned in the morning, the house was 70 degrees. Outside, it was almost freezing after a cold February night. It turned me on. Gilliland has felt that way since he started building this home four years ago. I found out about the idea. I said, we have to build that. That's the future. And that's the law in California now, Assembly Bill 32. That law says that by the year 2020, all new residential construction in California has to be net zero energy. Gilliland says it costs 10 to 15 percent more to build, but the energy banked through high efficiency appliances, thick insulated walls and triple pane windows leaves enough solar energy to power an electric car for free and a hair dryer too. The hair dryer is really, it was a symbol for me and I thought, well, let's, you know, that, I think it, it reaches everybody. You, you, can, you get the sense in your mind. It's not a number on a spreadsheet. It's like, wow, it's a teeny amount of energy heating a big building. In San Jose, Ann Makovic, CBS 5.